replace these headlights, you have to remove the front bumper cover. So let's begin by doing that. There are two bolts on the bumper cover up here next to the headlights, both 10 millimeter. Remove those. And it's a little difficult to see, but not too bad. Inside of each wheel well, at the end of the bumper here, you'll have another 10 millimeter bolt that you have to remove. And there's one on each side, so do the other side as well. And from directly underneath the car, you'll see several bolts all around that hold these splash shields onto the bumper, and those bolts have to come out. I'm just gonna ensure that that's all of them. All right, let's go back up top. Starting from the side, I'm gonna pull out on the bumper cover and forward at the same time, that's gonna unlatch it from here, just make sure it doesn't go flying. Do the same to the other side, but support it so that it doesn't fall off. There we go. Now you can pull the bumper cover right off. Oh, and that piece of styrofoam fell, that's okay. Each of these headlights are only held on by two bolts, one up top here, remove that, it's a 10 millimeter. Be very careful because these a lot of times will snap right in here and then you're in for some trouble. Okay, that one came off fairly easy. And then there's this one right here on the side. Definitely gonna have to clean those threads. Now you can grab your headlight assembly. You'll notice it doesn't wanna come straight out. There's actually a little locking tab right here that it needs to lift up and out of. Perfect, and now you can pull it. There's a locking pin that goes straight back into the fender. You need to overcome the force of that pin locking it in. There you go. That's the little pin I was talking about. And down here, well, this was actually supposed to stay with the car, so I'm gonna take this off. And I'm gonna install it back so we can secure the new headlight. Now remove all of your bulbs, you can either Disconnect the connector or just remove the bulb itself. There we go. A lot of times these will get full of sand, so it'll be hard to take them off. And here's your old headlight. Okay, let's install this retaining clip that has to sit into this bracket like that. That's gonna lock in the new headlight as you push it in. Take your new headlight assembly and this is a perfect time to either install new bulbs or swap over your old ones if you have good bulbs or LEDs, whatever you have. Just as a, uh, a note, side note, this right here is the adjuster. So once it's in, this is how you're gonna adjust it. You can stick a screwdriver through this hole right here and go straight down, twist it, or you can reach back here with an eight or a seven millimeter and twist on the uh, screw. Now plug in all of your bulbs. You got low beam and it's hard to show you, but here's the turn signal. And finally, the marker light. Now you can slide the headlight assembly in. Make sure that this goes into there. And then down here, it hooks onto that little retaining clip that I had to reinstall. So snap that first into place. Now line it up on the bottom, press it on. Perfect. Now go ahead and install your two bolts. I put some anti-seize on the threads. That way it prevents them from seizing and breaking in the future. Push the headlight so it's sitting snug in its spot and snug these up. These don't have to be very tight. All right, now do the same to the other side if you're replacing both. It's always a great practice to test your headlights after you install new ones. So here are marker lights or running lights, low beams, high beams, and directionals. To reinstall the bumper, put the styrofoam piece in first if yours fell off. Make sure it stays and reinstall the bumper cover. Line it up. And what I'm going to do is actually put in these bolts up here first. That way I can make sure it doesn't fall on me while I'm underneath. So start these on. I'm not going to tighten them up yet because I want to put all the other ones in first so I can position the bumper if it needs to wiggle just a little bit and line it up here. Same to the other side. 
put the splash shield back up, make sure that it gets tucked underneath everywhere where it does have to tuck under the bumper. car lowered, I'm going to snug these two up. Don't forget about these side screws here that hold the edge of the bumper. Snug those up. And do the same to both sides. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're going to see where your low beam is, and you'll see a little dot right in the center. And that is the access point. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark that with an erasable marker, just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just gonna pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm gonna put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back, 25 feet from the wall. And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're gonna start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're gonna go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're gonna cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're gonna see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're gonna adjust the headlight beam. Now we're gonna lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up, and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is going to be the same. You're going to find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.